Hey guys, okay, here, uh, last weekend, last week, sometime in there, I had an experience, and I need to tell you about it, because it's cool. So, I wake up in the morning, 9 o'clock, I'm out the door, and I go film trains, okay? Because I had nothing else to do, and I film trains and nature and stuff like that so i'm waiting for this train i'm downtown chatham and i'm waiting for this train to come uh, i don't know it was 10 o'clock train comes between 10 and 11. usually freight train some days it don't come at all but anyway i'm staying in there in the parking lot of uh the mission store <clears throat> they sell old clothes used clothes you know mission goodwill mission store anyway i'm standing in the parking lot and i'm bored and i'm smoking and uh, now you gotta be careful when you smoke downtown chatham or pretty much any any town because the zombies will come out and fleece you for a cigarette automatically they're everywhere man you cannot get away from them just street people drug addicts fucking sick anyway i light up a smoke and i'm looking around i'm like holy shit no one's coming so i'm relaxing there is uh waiting for the train no one shows up and all of a sudden, I just started daydreaming right out of nowhere. And I literally went into this daydream. I'm standing up, waiting for a train. And I went into a daydream. It was incredible. And I'll tell you about it. <sighs> I'm smoking. I hate this daydream. And I'm standing there, and in the daydream, the cops pull up. And I'm in the daydream, and I'm talking to the cops. I said, yeah, you know, I'm just taking pictures of trains. I'm not doing nothing. I'm not your drug addicts. I'm, I'm in a public place in a parking lot, just filming the trains. And they're like, OK, we just want to come over and check out and make sure you're not uh, crazy or a terrorist or something. <laughs> I don't know. This is why I'm daydreaming. I'm daydreaming. I'm talking to the cops. And it goes on. All of a sudden, I snap out of it. I'm like, holy fuck, that was weird. And life is my cigarette's done. I'm looking around for trains. I got my camera out, which is rare. I never take my camera out. Because losers, thieves, and fucking scumbags will come and fleece me for it. It's they fleece you. They stare at your shit. They see what you got in your wallet. They see, they ask you for a cigarette. While they're doing that, while you're digging around for your lighter or whatever, they're fleecing you. See what they can steal off you. My bike is not locked. It's right beside me. So you don't, you don't do that. They'll, they'll grab it and run. Sure shit. And they want drugs and cigarette. Mostly. Anyway, I'm looking for the train and I'm about five minutes go by. Five minutes of me. I just left the daydream. I'm facing the railroad tracks. All of a sudden I hear a car pulling up behind me. I don't make nothing of it because it's a little in the parking lot. So all of a sudden it stops behind me, which is not normal. I turn around and it's the police. The cop and two two cop cars pull up. There's a cop in each cop car. They go, hey, bud, what's your name? So I tell him my name. I go, I'm Richard. 
and they go, oh, we just want to talk, find out what you're standing here for. I said, film, I got my camera. Camera saves my ass. I'm like, I'm just filming trains, man. I, you know, I'm not doing anything. I'm just waiting for a train. I told them I have a, I had a stroke last year. I got fucking nothing to do. They took me out of work. I don't get a job anyway, but fuck it. I can't work. I can't fucking do nothing. They took my driver's license away. So I come out here and fill trains. It gives me something to do. It gives me some exercise. And that's what I do. And he goes, hey, what does Chris mean to you? Like I told him my last name. He goes, what does Chris mean to you? And immediately I think, oh, fuck, my neighbor, Chris. The slug zombie fuck that lives beside me with the air conditioner. And uh, I go, I don't know. I know hundreds of Chris's. He goes, Chris, Chris Marrows. I'm like, yeah, what of it? He goes, is that your brother? I'm like, yep, that's my brother. So we got talking about my brother, Chris, who lives in Edmonton. I told him everything, what he's doing, what's going on. And then the other girl, she comes as a girl cop, cop. She comes over and we're all talking, two cops and me. And this never happened before, right? Cops never stopped me for taking pictures in a parking lot. They just wanted to know what I was doing. And that turned out one of the cops went to school with my brother, which is a bonus. So they asked me all these questions, what I'm doing, how I'm doing, what not. And I like, you know, I told them my story and they said, okay, see you later. They didn't check my ID. They didn't arrest me. In Windsor, they would have arrested me, threw me up against the car, arrested me, and then talked to me. But they were pretty cool. They didn't do nothing. The cops left. And uh, I'm a fucking cops, man. I was just daydreaming about them. And all of a sudden, it hit me. Holy shit. I daydreamed talking to the cops. And then three to five minutes later, the cops show up and I'm talking to the cops. And that never happened before with the cops at that, at that place. And I thought, okay, okay, okay. So I go into a daydream and I'm talking to the cops, but I was actually talking to the cops soul. You get it? So I'm daydreaming, I'm talking to the cops, but I'm actually talking to, on a spirit level, soul level, I was talking to him on, in the soul level. That's what the daydream is about, me talking to the cops. But it was my soul talking to the cops. Then I snapped out of the daydream, and the cops came, and here I am, living the experience i just daydreamed nothing bad came of it thank god but then the kicker is the daydream i went into the daydream now daydream daydreaming is called prayer by christ rich is praying rich is praying when i daydream it's considered praying so watch what you daydream. <laughs> but this daydream was a little different. I was actually talking to someone in spirit, spiritually. I checked out a reality and I was just daydreaming. What I thought was a daydream, I was actually spiritually talking to a cop in spirit before the event happened, before the event took place. When the event happened, I clued into it all afterwards, which takes me to another case. Now, before I get to the other case, 
well, I wasn't praying. That was soul communication. Okay. So when you pray for something, you pray for events to happen. But I was talking. Because I remember in the daydream, I was deliberately talking from my heart, my soul, my head, the whole 100% talking to the cops in the daydream. That is communication. Then the cops came three to five minutes later, and we're at the exact same conversation. Almost the exact same conversation. <sighs> yeah, usually a daydream is about something you desire, you want, or need. And you daydream about it. Like you're in school and you're daydreaming, daydreaming about sex. You ain't paying attention to the fucking math on the board. You're daydreaming about your new car or girls or daydreaming about some other than what you're supposed to be doing. I mean, that's what I did. And Christ says that's praying. You're praying for something. You're daydreaming. What blew my mind was I was actually in communication with another person's soul. And I checked out, but I called it a daydream. I called it in my head, a daydream, because basically I was, I was daydreaming. Then the event came in physical reality and happened. So cool. Which brings me to the next scenario. A month earlier, I was at the Via Rail station by the fence, and I went into a daydream. This daydream I was staying around, there's nothing to do. It's a beautiful day. And I thought about the ETs. And I thought, fuck, man. I haven't seen a ship or nothing in so long. I, I got one seed. I got 14 seeds, but one of them's a creation seed. The rest are copies of the originals. They don't glow. They don't, there's no spark of life. There's I only got one spark of life seed, creation seed. The rest of them are copies from my original 16 creation seeds. So they don't glow. I barely glow. And everything is less than, which kind of sucks. The reason the region priest took my seeds away was history of them, all my experiences. And they thought about the future of me and my seeds and the abuse I do to people. They call it abuse, but it's self-defense, spiritually. They figured it was the best way to uh, keep me alive and let me live my life with one fucking seed. Pathetic. I, I hate him for it. I'm fucking raging in my ego. My heart don't give a shit. So whatever. If they say they're going to give them back to me, probably when I'm dead. But I don't think it's going to be anytime soon. But I don't know. They say they're going to give them back to me. Which means when I'm dead. Anyway... I was standing by the railroad tracks a month earlier, and I, th I said to myself, with my C's, I said to myself, man, I wonder if I'm ever going to do CE5 again before I die. Am I ever going to do CE5, hook up to the ETs in my heart, and talk to them? And then, as I said that to myself, I just daydreamed. I wasn't even thinking about it. It just happened. I'm daydreaming about seeing a big red craft. What I want was a big red craft flying through the air and me asking them for my seeds. Just then, my one seed 
where I usually had 16, it starts glowing. And I go, oh, shit, I'm glowing. And it's sort of, I just wrote it. That event, that daydream. I wrote that daydream of seeing a big red craft flying through the sky in a daydream. But my, my whole intent, which I wasn't intending to do, I just asked myself, I wonder if I'm ever going to see the ETs again, that I can calm down with one seed, you know? And I just daydreamed about it. Two days later, watched a video. I get to the railroad tracks exact same time and I see the UFO down the railroad tracks. Fucking first I thought it was a train, a fucking headlight from a train. Then I realized it's higher than a train. It's about treetop level and it's to the left of the track. The train couldn't be the left of the track because there's only one track and a train's got to stay on track. This light was just a millimeter to the uh, left. Then when that happened, I realized, making a damn video, I realized, fuck, I just daydreamed about this two days ago on the railroad tracks. I daydreamed about me seeing the UFO, the big red craft, on the railroad tracks. The UFO showed up two days later at 9 o'clock in the morning on the fucking railroad tracks. So I just wanted to point out I learned what I learned was the spirit communication with ETs or with police can happen in a daydream. There's different, I, I guess there's different kind of daydreams. You just gotta catch them. It's hard to catch them, especially if you're not used to doing this at work or anything. But it was so black and white with the police, it happened from the daydream the spirit communication with the police daydream happened three to five minutes after the police came three to five minutes after the daydream and the fucking whole fucking it was like a crazy cycle it was like here's the daydream boom reality right in your face fucking black and white kicked you right in the head it took two days for the ets to respond from my initial daydream. But Christ calls a prayer. Now, I can do that with birds. I can daydream about a bird, a rare species of bird, and animals and bugs, moths. I I really like moths and butterflies, and I'll daydream about a moth within days to months i'll see that moth and it's not even supposed to exist in ontario i've done it with a butterfly which lived in florida it's only found in florida i wished i prayed for it i didn't pray i daydreamed i was looking at a book i go i just daydreamed about having that in my butterfly collection as a little kid, I got up, went to the store, and found the fucking butterfly that's only found in Florida in a book. I have no chance of ever seeing this butterfly. This butterfly was only found in Florida. I found it at the side of the road, dead. And it's in my butterfly collection today called a Tawny Emperor, I think. Tawny Emperor. Look it up on Google. That's a, there's just two different ones. I think. 
I can't remember. But anyway, it's the Emperor and uh, it's the one that's found in Florida. Luna Moth, Scorpion Moth. I'm having trouble with the Polythemus Moth. Prometheus Moth. I'm having problems with that one. But hundreds of birds have done them all. It's crazy, man. I'm really, really good with doing birds and animals, willing them up, ordering them up for an experience with them, getting photographs. I'm really good with the ETs. I guess I am. Because they showed up two days later at the fucking railroad tracks, exact spot where I had my daydream. I didn't realize it until after the fact. So I just want to tell you about daydreams. They're fucking powerful. And have as many as you can and look for, try not to order, try not have the daydream in your normal life, daydream. But when the response happens, the exact same response happens and comes back to you. Blows you away. You, I always have problems. When I'm thinking about it, I'm going to daydream about, I'm going to pray. See, this is the part that fucks me up. This is the part that fucks me up. When I say I need to daydream, I'll go into a daydream. I'll go into a daydream that I set up in my head. And it never works. But if I don't set it up, and I go into it, unconsciously and I snap out of it I'm like holy shit that was a daydream cool then it happens all the fucking time it rarely happens with money it rarely happens with fucking physical items but that's not the nature of me you know what I mean I have to be in the nature of me for the daydream to work, daydream to work. Never happens if you consciously, consciously put yourself in a daydream. I'm gonna daydream about winning the lottery. Never works. Never fucking works. But if you just unconsciously go into that daydream, maybe the trick is tell yourself consciously. Tell your soul, I want to win the lottery. I want to daydream about the lottery. In the future days coming up, put myself in a daydream about the lottery so we can win it. Maybe that's what you got to do. I don't know, man. I'll give it a try. (laughs) But... Tell yourself ahead of time, I want a daydream about winning the lottery and let it go to the universe. Then one day you're out smoking a cigarette. You all of a sudden you go into a daydream and you're winning the lottery. But you didn't put yourself in the daydream. Your soul took you there the difference that's the difference it's a play it's a play man you gotta play with it but these are just two examples that i've experienced one with the ets and one with the cops both spirit communication with ets and one with the police there you go folks There you go.